In this video, we're going to review the response spectral capabilities in LibBridge Concrete. Our model is done, the superstructure is already designed, so all the beams already have the reinforcement. So we're going to move directly to the substructure calculations. That's where the response spectral analysis for seismic is uh, performed. So we go to the substructure tab select the pier or the abutment in which we're going to perform that analysis review the geometry as i said it's already done and on the loading we're just going to concentrate on the earthquake effect so add it to the system uh, develop the proper load combinations that include the seismic effect uh, we're going to edit the parameters so that seismic that is our response spectra uh, which is we can select the Ashton method in which we need to fill out the proper parameters if we're gonna go custom so then we have developed it beforehand uh, the response spectra curve uh, we just can enter the parameters one by one we're gonna do it automatic in this case and then we just go to the analysis part that's the seismic run it and it will develop the multimodal calculations how we're going to define how many modes of vibration I wanted well I'm going to show you at the end so it's calculated uh, we can review the results or the details of the calculations here uh, on that report that's how it's uh, the response spectral calculation has been done we can concentrate on not only the number of frequencies 10 that I have developed then we're going to show you how we change it to 10 15 to 20 if you want or more but then what is important is the mass participation what we want is more than 90 percent participation on the mass on each direction that's where we're going to dictate the number of modes that I need to uh, perform my calculations Review the diagrams on forces, uh, displacements, uh, the motor vibration, and pick each one of them. I can just adjust the scale too, and review how the structure is moving because of the seismic forces. Done. Then on the analysis, as I said before, uh, we can just define some parameters here so these are the 10 modes that I just calculated if I want to include it to 20 to 30 well I just can just change the number and these are some of the parameters as well uh, for the uh, seismic calculation so that's how you adjust the different modes that you want to develop and then again you, know, you can still review the diagrams now in this case I'm showing you displacement uh, how this is affecting the structure depending on the seismic event and this is how we calculate the response spectral analysis English bridge concrete. 